Hey yo, welcome back. I know I said later, but here I am back again. So, for the Vod Gray tutorial, Vod Gray is a bit more complex, and I'll show you why right now. The Sega Lion, well, you're seeing in front of you, but that's how he's supposed to look. Okay, fair enough. Vod Gray, however, I would invite you to look at those arms of his. There are no arm in this game that are near looking like that. It's impossible. We have the body, you have the head. Legs we can do, arms we can do, but not those shoulders. So, surprisingly, we're still going to have one builder part left, but that's about it. So, I'll, I will invite you all to the paint real quick so that we can get ready for this mech. Seven colors all in all. You will need yourself a black, a pure black, every value is at zeros. You will need yourself the same white that we used for the Sega Lion. We're speaking 94 brightness, 238 for green, red, and blue. I know I've heard so many orders. My apologies, guys. You will need yourself a gray. Fairly light. We're speaking 68 brightness, 155 red, 163 green, and 172 blue. You'll need yourself a darker shade of gray. That's for the fins, usually. Like the thrusters, whatnot, you'll see on the body. Trust me. 40 brightness, 85 red, 90 green, and 100%, well, 100%, 100 blue. My bad. <laughs> bad habits coming back to me. You'll need yourself a red, orange-ish type of who. We'll be using that for the body mostly, but still. 79 brightness. 200 red, 57 green, and 41 blue. You'll need a dirty yellow. That was going to be used for the fins at the back. It's supposed to be black-ish. I had a hard time making it fit, so I figured, hey, I'll make a dirty yellow. 37 brightness, 94 red, 83 green, and 26 blue. Don't be afraid to pause the video to take those measurements and prepare that yourself. You'll need a bang up, really flaring up yellow. That's for the shoulder. 100 brightness, 255 red, 200 green, and 72 blue. And finally, you come full circle with the white I spoke a bit earlier, which is the same one that you would have on the Sager Lion. We're speaking here, 94 brightness, and 238 everywhere. My apologies for repeating myself, just making sure. Once you have those seven colors saved up right here, which you can do, by the way, I guess this is not explained by the game and I just realized this little flaw of mine. Usually you can save them right before, but if you're in this menu and you press triangle, you can actually save the color right there to use on the fly. And it's also saving the amount of gloss, metallic, washing, hairbrush, shipping, the whole nine yard is saved. Anyhow, let's go to assembly and make this bad boy. This protagonist suit, by the way, has me hyped for Super Robot War V. Look at this thing. You might not know it, but the gun that's sort of coming out of his back? I would compare that thing in power from what the little we've seen to a Metal Gear Ray. Like... Big gun. <laughs> big damage. Anyhow, I'm just speaking out of term here. I do not know what type of belly he uses. Every video that is showcasing this guy literally never show him doing belly. However, as far as the range in combat goes, we actually have an option here. And that would be a boxy type of rifle. It's supposed to have a burst fire, so with those limitations, I came to the conclusion that the Master Grade B shot rifle from the Suzabi will suit it better. I don't have the DLC, maybe the DLC will give you a better part for this. I'm not there yet. Head. We are going to keep actually the same Akatsuki head. That one's working just fine. Body. That's where it changes a bit. We'll be moving to a Master Grade Blitz Gundam body. The arms are going to be a Master Grade variation of the Stargazer. By the by, just a little side note here. The shield that we had equipped on the Sager Lion can stay there if you want, once again for added, uh, oh, my apologies, for added specs. Can be defense, a shield can give you option DPS, it's just really adding to your back. 
So keep it there if you want. I'm not judging anybody here. The highest difficulty is highest difficulty. <laughs> Moving down to the leg. God of Virtue is what I would go with. Backpack wise. Now this is a bit catchy. Once again, I don't have anything close to this guy. So if I can invite you to look at the picture real quick. You have a cylinder and the gun coming out of it. That's it. And the closest thing to that I've managed to find happens to be the heavy arm Gundam backpack. Which is give you the which gives you the cylinder and well the cannon, or in this case the literal Gatling gun. So, hope you don't mind Gatlings, guys. They're fun. We're gonna unequip every freaking builder parts because none of them are coming back. This is gonna be a completely new set, and it's a lot more bombastic. Trust me on this one. As far as one-on-one -on -one boss fight goes, you're gonna be hard hitting. So, building parts. My apologies, I need to scroll up the tutorial I created. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Alright, we're ready. The first thing first, we're speaking about the missile pods going on boat harms. And boat harms is gonna come off. Well, no. That's just, now that I think about it, it's just <laughs> it's the only one time it's gonna come back. So, head, body, boat harms, missile pod. You will want this piece at positioning X68. You will want Y at 87. And lastly, you'll want the Z positioning at 12. This brings us to the rotation at minus 5 for X. You want yourself a 10 point Y. And finally, Z goes up to 14. The scaling here is going to be at 300, and you will need, obviously, because it's hovering in midair, press R1 at two time, and you get yourself to the good spot. Now, this is going to be a part that's going to be coming back four times in a row, for the left arm and for the right arm, separately. You'll need the six tube missile pod. So, for the first one out of four, you will need X at 99. You will need minus 35 for Y. You will need yourself a minus 3 for Z. Moving on to rotation, minus 2 for X, 2 for Y. Z remains neutral, and then you scale this thing down to 110. And this scaling will be repeated for all four parts, by the way. So, that's the first one done. Moving to the second one, still on the left arm. Stay with me, guys. We're almost there. I swear. So, with this guy, positioning changes a bit due to be it being under it. So, X at 99. You'll need Y at minus 300. And lastly, you'll need Z at 94. Almost there. Bingo. Rotation. X, 44. Y at 2. Leave Z neutral, please, and then scale it down once again to 110. Now, if you're wondering what we've been building by making those awkward uh, positioning whatnot, well, I'll pop out the plants again for the fan gray. I would invite you to look right in between the body and the outer shoulder. Both parts are angled, but crashing into one another. It being a missile bay, if the video is anything to go by, so... That's basically what we've recreated, as best as I could. So, moving on to the right shoulder. Once again, we're going to be moving to a six-tube missile pod. Uh, left arm, right arm, bingo. So that skill is going to be X84. You want to move at minus 30 for Y. And Z is going to be at minus 25. Rotation. Minus 5 for X. You want 4 for Y. And you'll want minus 7 for Z. Once again, 110 for the scaling. Almost had it. Ah. There we go. And the last missile pod. Right up still. 
is going to be at x80. Y minus 300 and Z 100. So let's go with that. 80 minus 300. And 100 here. Rotation. Minus 47 for X. You will want yourself a minus... No, not minus. We're moving to 5 here. And then you scale it down. My bad. And that's it. As far as the base look go without painting, you're done. You still have one option, so... Build what you will with it. There's a bunch of options available to you. If you have it, I don't. I'm still working on obtaining that ability. The body of the heavy arm will give you a skill that will really make this unit shine. And that skill is all open attack. Or something of the sort. I probably skipped it like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I skipped it. Well, it's the heavy arm units. Actually... This is why I don't see it. There we go. Full open attack. If you equip yourself the Gundam FE arm, Endless Waltz Body, you'll be able to learn that. And it actually makes you shoot every missile you have. And so far, that's six pieces with missile. <laughs> so, bang up job. And I believe it also chimes in with the Gatlings, which you also happen to have in your back. So, yep, yeah, I really recommend equipping that if you can. Moving up to painting. If anybody forgot what the colors were for the painting, I suggest you go back to the start of the video and pause it as you just take them down. Otherwise, we'll be starting right now. So, as far as all the caution mark goes for this guy, everything is going to be a bright red which is shown on the third row, first selection. Boom, boom, boom. Caution mark for this, bright red as well. That's what you want. So. That was easy and completely out of the way. Let's move down to the weapon. I don't know what melee weapon he uses, so I'll leave it there for now. This thing, I am pretty damn sure, is pure black. Except for the... No, pure black. Everything pure black. Screw it all. Boop, 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 boop. I will leave the caution mark as is. Sort of makes sense to me. It's cosmetic, so... The head. You want yourself a... Black, black, gray, gray, darker gray, gray. So let's go with that. Black, black, gray, gray. Darker gray. <laughs> and back to gray. There we go, the head's done. Move it down to the body. You want black, black. You want gray. You want three darker gray. And I'm pretty sure I skipped the red right there. Bingo. Baba dudes. That's supposed to be red. Actually, there's no darker gray. There's only red. <laughs> That's my fuck up, guys. Sorry. So, we're down with the body. Moving to the arms and all of its builder parts. The arms actually simple. By itself, it's a bunch of black. So, black... Gray. Gray. Black, black, black. The glowing color is up to you. I would put the same red, however. Just to be consistent. The optional parts... Yeah, you'll see. We'll go with the black. You should chime that up with a gray. No, not with gray, my bad. We're trying to in with a dirty yellow. And this is white. Dirty yellows for the thruster fin you would usually have when it's moving. And not roasting your equipment. But that's the best I can do right now. Next. For the four missile pod. That's actually... You're just you're just going to copy the same pattern four times. You want this to be black. You want this to be yellow. And then back to black. 
Repeat that four times, and you're set for the option parts on the arm. Back up. There we go. Option parts for the arm. Dunzo. The legs. Legs is going to be a fairly simple. Once again, we want black and gray for the starter. So, let's go. Black. Gray. You will want two black. This here becomes a darker gray. And we finish up with a black. The glow color, should you want them different, I do still suggest red though, once again for consistency. I am going blindly however because we've never seen this unit glow anything else. <laughs> Finally you get to the backpack which is fire black. And there you go, you're technically done. Change the shield to a gray U if you don't want it to show that much. But yeah. It does so. Now, I'm gonna go to setup and show how this guy fights. This one is actually gonna be able to fare decently due to the fact that he's properly leveled up. <laughs> A thing I did had on the other guy. So let's get nuts. So, Harina Counter. And with this guy, I am actually not afraid to go toe to toe with the two top mech I'll see at the top. Unless it's that bondage purple dude I've been introduced to by a dear friend of mine now. That thing murders you. Whatever you do, it has studs and olds to keep you there for the week. And that's up. Connecting, connecting. One day. Soon, maybe. There we go. So yeah, you're on. And Mizuki is a word, but hey, Elf. Sure, you're on. Come at me, dude. What if you do hardest difficulty? This guy can actually pull it off. If you guys want to compare real quick, I really like what I did. <laughs> oh, it might be worth mentioning, due to us using the Virtue's Leg, we have access to GN skill in green. Some people might want it red, I can't really help you with that. Anywho, back on topic. Let's get nuts a bit. So, there's a... Oh wow, I forgot to equip my weapons. This is going to be so bad once again. <laughs> Usually you would be able to use the six tube cylinder to completely disarm somebody. No question asked, they would be able to do anything. So, you know what? I want this to be a proper show off. This is a travesty right now. And let me do retire. Load up the one with all of its skill because yes, obviously I would have a save with this guy. It's literally going to take me a few seconds, and revenge shall be ours. I am not taking this light down. Load design. Vaughn Gray. All right, you derps, show me what you got. Also, for reasons I don't know, although it's the same color for the whole shoulders, sometime it'll appear more a bit more orange.
Alright! Let's go! See, guys, he's totally harmless. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to hell for that one. And one down. Also, if anyone's wondering what type of build I am rocking on this guy right now, this build is made to support EX skill as the best you can. Followed by option DPS. Jenny those two together allow you to have complete field dominance as far as I am concerned with this game. Nothing can challenge you. Of course there are more optimal choice of optional weaponry and of course of EX skill but it is what I rock. As for the burst I went with Transam. Or rather Quantum Burst in this case. Which leaves you with the effect of uh, transab afterward if you move. So, this as a demonstration. It done. Whoops, he got his leg back. My apologies. This will go for a few more seconds as I just finished to completely obliterate the opposition. Not that he can do. <laughs> or I guess he can block, but he won't be able to block that one. Oh, bite me. And we are done. People, that was Van Gray. This is once again a tentative build. I don't know how he will behave in Super Robot War V. I do not have the DLC. My build can change, and if it does, you can be sure I will be upgrading this tutorial for the boost in order to replicate this guy. So have a good night, thanks for sticking out with me, and I'll meet you guys later today for the fifth part of my playthrough of Super Robot Wars OG The Moon Dwellers. Have a good day.